Here's another binomial theorem question. In part A, we're asked to expand uh, this expression for the modulus of x less than a third in ascending powers of x up to including x cubed, simplifying each coefficient. And part B, hence or otherwise, we're always going to go for hence, forget the otherwise, show that for small x, this thing is equal to that. Right, let's do part A. Part A is the following. It's a nice, simple binomial theorem. Remember, the binomial theorem says 1 plus x to the n is equal to 1 plus nx plus n, n minus 1 over 2 times 1, x squared plus n, n minus 1, n minus 2 over 3 times 2 times 1, x cubed. I always find it handy to write that down myself. I suggest you get into the practice of doing that before you use a, do a binomial. So for part A, 1 subtract 3x to the negative 2 is going to be equal to 1 plus, everything in brackets remember, negative 2 multiplied by negative 3x. Don't do it in your head, show you're working and then simplify later. Plus negative 2, negative 3 over 2 times 1, negative 3x all squared, plus negative 2, negative 3, negative 4, over 3 times 2 times 1 multiplied by negative 3x cubed plus dot dot dot. Now it's time for tidying that up. That's 1 plus 6x. Um, this here would be uh, negative 2 times negative 3 over 2 times 1 and all of that multiplied by uh, 9x squared. So it would be 27 so it would be plus 27x squared. And this one here would be, uh, when we type that all in our calculator, we're going to get ourselves um, plus 108x cubed plus dot, dot, dot. Okay, and we've simplified each coefficient. So 1 subtract 3x. So minus 2 is as follows, and that's true for the modulus of x less than or equal to a third. Okay, so the next part, let me just right, copy this over to the next slide. The next part, part um, B, says the following. Hence show that for small x, the following is true. Well, we've got this for part A, okay? Now this, if we write this differently, this is the same thing as 2 minus x squared 1 subtract 3x to the minus 2 okay this thing here so what we want to do is take 2 minus x squared and multiply it by our result from part a namely 1 plus 6x plus 27x squared plus 108x cubed plus dot 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 and 2 subtract x squared is well if we, that's 2 minus x uh, 2 minus x times 2 minus x, that's 4 subtract 4x plus x squared multiplied by 1 plus 6x plus 27x squared plus 108x cubed. Now, looking at what we want, we want a number term, we want a next term, we want an x squared term, and we want an x cubed term. So let's look for the number terms first. What I, uh, <clears throat> the way I'm going to do this, the way I think it's easiest to do this <clears throat> is to multiply 4 by everything inside this bracket. So 4 multiplied by 1 is 4. <clears throat> 4 multiplied by 6x is plus 24x. 4 multiplied by 27x squared is going to be equal to 108x squared. And then 4 times 108 is going to equal to plus 432x cubed. So I've multiplied everything by 4. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to multiply everything by negative 4x. <coughs> <coughs> so if I do that, negative 4x times 1 is subtract 4x. The reason it's handy to write it like this is you can keep everything in nice neat columns. Negative 4x times um, 6x is going to be negative 24x squared, which goes in the x squared column, and negative 4 
multiplied by 27 is going to be negative 108x cubed. Notice I don't do that times that because it's next to the 4 and looking up in the question we don't want the next to the 4. Lastly, I'm going to multiply the x squared by each of these. So x squared times 1 is simply x squared. It will go in the x squared column and x squared times 6x is going to be plus 6x cubed which goes in the x cubed column. Now because I've written it in this way everything's nice and easy to work out. I just add down the columns. So that's 4 plus 20x, 108, subtract 24 plus 1 is going to be plus 85x squared. And then 432 take away 108 plus 6 is going to be plus 330x cubed as required. So the thing we're looking for, the 2 subtract x over 1 minus 3x all squared is equal to the following. The best way of doing it, I hope you realise, is to do it the way I've done it in column method to make it easier. If you try and multiply the thing out and collect like terms in different lines, it's too much and you're going to make a mistake. Like that, nice and easy, easy to work out. And we're done.